If we fucking she paying a fee And please don't give me no bush weed You know my spliff them longer than loose leaf Grab a well out and I kick like Bruce Lee After she smoke then she give me her coochie <laughs>
Mr. 112 Dirtbag's username is relevant to the case because 112 was the route that Mora disappeared on, and Dirtbag is what her father called the kidnappers when he was interviewed on TV. Fam, so we should be trying to find this guy. He's literally mocking you for not solving the crime. What's going on? The channel was quickly removed by YouTube, however one person managed to save a copy of the videos. Alden Olsen was supposedly identified as the laughing man and was interviewed by investigators, but they had no evidence to arrest him. However, this has not been officially confirmed. Maura Murray is No, but still even if, even if you question him and you know I'm saying, I still feel like something should be done to him for all that weird shit though. You know what I'm saying? Because that's weird, bro. You did all of that stuff on purpose. Though all of those things aren't coincidences, bro. You went, it's either you killed her and you did it... You did your job so well that we can't, you know what I'm saying, point you to the crime. Or you're just a sick guy. And either way, fam, you still need to go, bro. We need to get him out of here, man. Get this guy out of here. Missing nearly 12 years later. Whether she decided to run away from her issues at home or she was abducted, the case still remains a mystery. Chano style. Number two, the Lars Mitank mystery. In 2014, Lars Matank, a 28-year-old German man, decided to go on holiday to Bulgaria with a group of his friends. Lars reportedly got into a fight with another man while on the beach and suffered a small injury to his ear. He was advised <laughs> from by a that guy on the right is about to swing the hardest punch of history. From harder than any punch Mike Tyson ever threw, bro. Look at him. All of that all of that force is coming from his ancestors back here, though, bro. He looks Hawaiian, fam. He looks like he's Samoan. Oh, my God, a Samoan punch? Uh-uh. Bro, I'm getting distracted. ...their man while on the beach and suffered a small injury to his ear. He was advised by a doctor not to fly due to the ruptured eardrum and was given prescription medication. At the end of the holiday, he decided to stay in Bulgaria for further treatment and told his friends they could leave without him. Now alone, Lars spent the night in a hotel. During the stay, he contacted his mother in a panic and told her that he didn't feel safe, as he believed there were four men following him and told her she should cancel his credit card. The next morning, Lars visited the doctor's office inside the airport. Bizarrely, as soon as he was inside, he quickly jumped up and ran outside, leaving all of his possessions behind. This CCTV footage shows Lars' final moments before disappearing without a trace. But since where is he running to? His family has from. From this is why, like I said it to somebody the other day, and I wish there was like this universal camera where it's like it's a drone that you can just move around yourself at any point in time at any history in time. Uh, you know what I mean? Because I would just love to know, like, what happened at this point in time when no one was watching. You know what I mean? And we'll never know. We'll never know. And it's very upsetting. ...said that he had no history of mental illness and are desperately searching for him. Some believe his strange behavior may have been due to a head injury that doctors didn't notice that caused the psychotic break. However, Lars has still not been found and his whereabouts are still unknown. If you have any information, please visit the website in the description. Number 3. The Phoenix Lights On the 13th of March 1997, during the hours of 1930 and 2230, thousands of people saw a UFO sighting in Phoenix, Arizona and Sonora, Mexico. Due to the amount of eyewitnesses, the event has been described as the most famous UFO sighting ever. The UFO first appeared in the sky in a triangular formation, roughly about the size of several football fields, that slowly and silently moved through the sky, blocking the stars as it passed over. Stationary lights were also witnessed. The official explanation from the government is that the UFO was just flares used for target practice, However, many people are not buying that and believe it was something more. Aliens! It's aliens! Fam, look at that, bro. You're telling me that's flares. Am I stupid? You're insulting my intelligence, government. Don't do that. I'm not stupid. 
don't insult my intelligence like that. Tell me that's flares. They have seen flares. Flares don't look like that. And definitely not in formation like that. Hell no. Look at that. They're everywhere. Aliens, if you're watching this, just help us out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, give us some advanced technology or something, bro. Because obviously, y'all niggas got it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man, I get Two it, man. Two more sightings of the same or very similar UFO or UFOs were seen in 2007 and 2008. And on the 3rd of February 2015, the Phoenix Lights returned once again. What? Cap, where they at? Where they at, bro? It's a huge, like, Whoa. circle. It's a huge, like, circle. It's always these random places, you know. She won't be able to see from it. From the upstairs window, from uh, Richard's window. Wow. Yeah, it's in the sky. It's not on the ridge of the mountain. Wow. It's moving. Radida. Fam, this is aliens. Look at that. Dancing lights. Where even is this? Did it say Arizona or something like that? I'm not sure. I wish I was an alien. Maybe I'll be cool. Or maybe they'll subscribe to my channel. Number four, the mysterious death of Alan Geo. On the 25th of February, 2014, at about 2 p.m., the naked body of 64- Wait, sorry. Before I go into Alan Geo, do you guys believe in aliens? Let me know in the comments. February, 2014, at about 2 p.m., the naked body of 64-year-old Alan Geo was found on Perranporth Beach in Cornwall, England. At first, it seemed like an open and shut suicide case. However, many odd things didn't add up to the investigators. Police managed to track Jill's movements up until 6.36 p.m., where he was last seen wandering the streets in Turo City Center, a day before his body was discovered. Bizarrely, investigators found a sock with earphones wrapped around, stuffed inside Jill's mouth. Oh. They also discovered a jacket, a wallet, and a picture of Jill when he was about two years old near to his body. Oh. A post-mortem examination found multiple injuries to his right hand, chest, and head which are inconsistent with drowning. What? The jacket that was found was not the same jacket that Jill was wearing in the CCTV footage the previous day. <laughs> From, I thought that was the actual girl, you know? Not knowing that was a mannequin. Jill was described as a bit of a loner who enjoyed video games and going on long walks. Sure. Police are treating the case as suspicious as they can't explain what exactly happened to him and how he ended up on the beach. Whether an accident, murder, or suicide, the case is still open and remains unexplained. You see, you see, you see what I mean, bro? Of bro, that universal camera would come in clutch right there, bro. Would you use, use it? Uh, would use the universal camera and just go to the beach that morning or whenever it was happening and see what happened, you know? And then follow the guy that did it and then figure out who he is. And you know what I'm saying? Man, or maybe maybe there wouldn't be actual any actual privacy in that then. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But man, I don't care about privacy, man. I'm inquisitive, bro. I want to know who killed who, when, where, and why. Number five. Kendrick Johnson. The last case on our list is very strange to say the least and is surrounded by mystery. 17-year-old Kendrick Johnson's body was discovered on the 11th of January 2013 in Laundes High School, Georgia. He was found head first in the center of a rolled up wrestling mat in the school's gym. An autopsy was carried out on Johnson's body to find the cause of death which was concluded to be accidental with investigators saying he got stuck in the mat trying to retrieve a shoe and suffocated. However, Johnson's family was not satisfied with the autopsy report and decided to hire a private pathologist to get a second opinion. This time, the autopsy report was different and was concluded that Johnson had died from blunt force trauma. The autopsy also reported of newspapers stuffed inside Johnson's body, as well as missing organs and missing clothing from the day of his death. Missing organs? 
Fam, what's going on, bro? You see why we need the universal camera? The universal drone? Uh-uh. So, they, the, 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 the postmortem people, they said it was an accident, and then you hire a private, you know, investigator, and they say, blunt force trauma, newspaper stuffed in the body, and missing organs. That's what, that, uh, comparing that to an accident, nah, bro. I would be very upset if I, was, if I was those other people. Johnson's family now strongly believe that he was murdered and that there was a cover-up by the local police department. In November of 2013, 290 hours of CCTV footage from inside the school was released to CNN following a court request, which shows Johnson entering the gym moments before he died. However, over three hours of the footage was missing. Many other details about the... Wow. So, yeah, ha so we have footage of inside the gym, but then randomly the three hours that happened that had the footage that we need to see goes missing. You see, things like this, bro, I need to know, like, who's responsible for this, man? Who's responsible for, for, who's responsible for the footage? And then when I find out who's responsible, I need to know why you let that three hours just go, bro. Like, who paid you, man? Who told you to do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? I have so many questions. However, over three hours of the footage was missing. Many other details about the case are very bizarre, including the size of the hole of the wrestling mat, which was 14.5 inches. However, Johnson's shoulders were 19 inches across, so how could he fit? As well as many other details that don't seem to add up. Yeah, I was saying, you don't get stuck in a mat, bro. Like, somebody killed him and rolled him up in the mat. Like, you don't get stuck in a mat going for a shoe. Like, nah, you don't do that. Two brothers, Brian and Brandon Bell, that were Johnson's classmates and that happened to be the sons of an FBI agent, are currently being questioned. As it turns out, they both had refused to be interviewed at the request of their father. And two years prior to the death, Johnson allegedly got into a fight with the younger brother. In 2015, Kendrick Johnson's family filed a $100 million civil lawsuit against 38 individuals. They are desperately trying to seek answers as to how and why Kendrick Johnson lost his life. Yeah, the first lawsuit, I'm, 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 first person I'm suing is a school. Because you deleted the footage. You literally deleted the footage. Like, there's, it wasn't no accident. It wasn't no not. You deleted the footage on purpose. You're trying to save somebody. Probably those FBI kids. What, that's it? Ah, oh, man... That's crazy. Dog, there's so many unsolved cases. Wow. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, if I watch all of these, I'm going to have so many questions, fam. But yo, let me know if you want me to watch these. Not even let me know. I'm going to watch these in the future, bro. I'm telling you from that. But let me know if you like them, and then I'll see maybe if I should or I shouldn't. But you know, I like these kinds of videos. You know what I mean? You know I like doing different stuff on the channel. But let me know what you think about these cases in the comments, man. Let me know what you think. What you want me to react to next? And um, subscribe on the road to 3K. By like 2011 now. So please keep subscribing. Keep liking and comment. Subscribe for OG Bobby Brown. My cash app will be in the description. So if you want to help out any further, please, that will be greatly appreciated. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Coaching Center, Coaching Center, Coaching Channel. How about this motherfucker, man? Peace.